Hey guys, I'm Chos again. Uh, on this video, I will be explaining you how to do a cross drop knee or churro bound. But I'm going to show you how I do it. You know, the cross drop knee is another contact trick, a uh, static trick, but you can apply it like just like the spraddle or the double drop knee or many other contacts you can bounce it uh, big and combine it with other tricks it helps you a lot to, to have this trick actually it's it's really fun it's really it gives you a lot of variety and there's actually another name of it that is churro which was a, a Venezuelan guy that invented that I don't know if he invented the trick but he was trying a lot of different things from from that position from the cross drop knee that's why they also call it churro bounce so let's begin first you can try it on the ground uh, to understand how to put your legs because it's actually a little weird at the beginning uh, you feel like it might be flexibility or something like that but it actually it's not uh, so the first thing we do is imagine a line on the ground and put one leg facing that way or the other way. I, I don't know which way you like to do it. Uh, both ways are okay. And then cross your other leg to the opposite direction. You know, it's like one leg facing this way, the back leg and my front leg is facing the other way. So the line is going to be on my ah I don't know how to say it in English <laughs> knee on my ganillas <laughs> it's actually going to be here around here okay and on the back leg it's going to be on the same spot of the leg uh, you can tell the difference from a crook or double drop knee the crook is both legs are facing one direction. Here, one leg is facing the opposite direction. You can do it, if you feel more comfortable with the other leg, you can do it with this leg on the back and the other leg on the front. You're going to end up something like this. And this is how you can learn it on the ground. You don't even need a line to understand the position. So the first thing we have to learn, it's uh, to hold the position. The cross drop knee, one knee is facing that way and the other knee is facing the other way, the opposite. If you are new to this position, to the cross drop knee position, uh, one way to get in the position is going from the double drop knee from the crook, okay, and then passing your foot, your leg, and you will end up on the on the cross drop knee position. Another way to get in that position is just uh, standing on the ground with your back leg on the line and then just passing the other leg and crossing it. That's another way to get in, in the cross drop knee position. Okay. To find the balance, uh, try finding a fixed point on the other side, on the anchor or the, or the ground, but never look down because your head won't be aligned with your body. Your head has to be facing always to the front. Another important thing is to, to hold your torso straight, like not twisting it to the sides always try to be straight also use your arms to find the balance you know if you are falling to the side try to get your arm back up that's going to help you to find the balance okay so to start bouncing the churro bounce or the cross drop knee uh, first we have to learn to go from the bad, bad, bad bounce position into the cross drop knee. You can use a small line like this one. So, another 
another good exercise to learn the churro bounce and you can also do this on a small line like this one is just bouncing on the on the cross drop knee position let me show you how once you are on the cross drop knee position you can start bouncing a little bit It doesn't matter if, if you don't uh, take off a little bit from the line. Uh, it's not that important. The important thing is to learn how to use your weight and how to find the balance while bouncing it. As you can see, I am doing little bounces. and My legs are not actually going off the line that much, but it, that's okay. That's okay on a, on a small line especially. It will help you a lot. Once you start getting comfortable, you can do it on a bigger line and it will help you to bounce a little higher. In this case, we are going to start working on our amplitude. We have to jump high, as high as we can, and go into the position. It's kinda hard to control it at first and you have to put all your weight down. Also, try to find out which way you feel more comfortable uh, if you are more like a bat bouncer or a chest bouncer or you like bouncing from feet to bat. Remember, if you feel more comfortable, you will start gaining more air. And also, don't forget to check my 10 tips to jump higher video. Twisting the torso, that's... If you twist the torso, you will probably fall, fall down. Another common mistake is having your, your arms down. It's really hard to find the balance there. If you don't use your arms on the big line, you will definitely fall. Another mistake will be relaxing your, your hip. Uh, if you relax the hip too much, the line will start to move and to surf a little bit like this and you will probably end up falling. So, once you are understanding the cross drop knee position, uh, you can let your imagination flow and you can try different things, all the things you know how to do it and, and combine it with a, with a cross drop knee bounce. Let me show you, I will just play. As you can see here, you can do hard tricks from it and you can combine it like in many different ways. It's super fun to have this trick. As you can see, you can combine it any way. And the most important thing is to have fun on the line. So try to use it as, as much as you can and, and combine it any way you can do it. That's it for the cross drop knee bounce or churro bounce. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it helps you a lot. Um, don't forget to subscribe, to leave us a like and don't forget to leave us any comments or any requests on the comment section. Ciao! But you are, I'm going to show you how I do it. No. There. But I'm going to show you my style. No. Yeah. <laughs>